It's a Friday. We made it to the weekend. Meteorologist Jennifer Correa is here now with what we can expect. Jen. Hey, Maribel. Yeah, finally Friday. And, you know, we always hope, oh, the weekend for sunshine. And it feels like the past few weekends, we just can't catch a break from the rain. We are catching a break today and this afternoon, seeing sunshine out there in downtown Miami with a couple of clouds rolling through. It's actually cloudier the more north you go, the closer you are to northern Broward and Palm Beach. That's where most of the shower activity has been throughout much of the morning hours. And now in this afternoon, it is 80 six degrees in Miami, 82 in Key West. So we're warming up, especially now that we're seeing sunshine breaking through the cloud cover, but it is still breezy. And so this is going to keep temperatures from warming up too quickly as the wind speed sustained at 20 miles per hour in Fort Lauderdale. Certainly can't wear a hat out there along the coast. Uh, gusts are higher than that, by the way. It's uh, in Key West, also on the breezy side at 15 miles per hour. The wind direction mainly out of the east. Now here is the activity that continues for parts of Southern Palm Beach County. This little red box you see here, that's actually a flash flood warning. It includes Delray Beach. So overnight into the morning, there's been just this train of showers and heavy downpours in that area. While Northern Broward has had a share of showers, hasn't been enough to call for any flooding. Now there is one heavy downpour just off a of Lighthouse Point and Hillsborough Inlet. This is going to be an impact for Deerfield Beach and Lighthouse Point as well as the shower rolls on shore. Through Sunday evening, the flood watch remains in effect for us as we're expecting more rain, especially tomorrow. So today is a little bit of a break for us. As you can see on this future weather forecast, as we head into tomorrow morning, showers will work their way over the Keys, then into Southern Dade, then work their way northward as everything tracks from the southeast towards the northwest, becoming pretty stormy and wet through the afternoon and evening hours Saturday, and then Sunday starting off wet. This is around four a.m. So it is going to be stormy for the weekend. Why? Well, it has to do with this tropical disturbance looks a bit uh, a bit better organized, excuse me, and you can see the convection bubbling up on this water vapor imagery and all that moisture is actually going to be sticking around as we head through the weekend. Even Monday uh, will still be under some moisture, so I think Monday we'll still get some spotty thunderstorms. This is the GFS. Notice where the moisture goes into the Gulf. There's still a lot of uncertainty as to where this tropical disturbance will go. Back here at home, small craft operators exercise with caution. Highs today 86. Tonight, 76 degrees still on the breezy side and again tomorrow make sure you have the raincoats you know what we're going to need them at least through sunday